This week on Pure Fly NZ, we're on a road trip through Southland to the remote southern coast, at the very bottom of New Zealand. The majority of Southland is a giant alluvial plain, stretching most of the way across the South Island. There are four major river systems in Southland, the Matawa in the east, the Oriti River, the Aparima, and the mighty Waiau in the west. All of these rivers are renowned brown trout fisheries in their upper and middle reaches. What is less well known is that sometimes the estuaries can have the best fishing of all. On this adventure, we're following avid anglers Anto Hall and Mike Wilkinson as they follow a hot tip from a mate that the trout fishing in the estuaries has been firing due to a large run of smelt on their annual spawning migration. Yesterday was real hard going, real dirty water in the morning, high winds in the afternoon. We've turned up, looks like it's going to be a bluebird day which is awesome. A lot of smelt around, I just tried to catch them on a wee net and where there's smelt there's trout. Bringing out the big guns. Stepping it up. So I finally managed to catch some of these things. You can see here the smell and the patterns of flies that we're using are almost identical. When this thing's moving along, the trout is definitely thinking it's a smell. Oh, yeah. Nice cast. He's on it. Surge, did you hit it? No. Yes. Yes. Alright, just take you back from that weed a little bit. Good fish. Darker one, eh? He's obviously clings in that weed a lot longer. He's engulfed that fly. Nice. Nice. Woohoo! Well done. That's a good looking fish, man. Good work. <laughs> So we've been watching this guy work in the bait, chasing smelt and smashing them, so we snuck up with the raft and then we saw another plop and as soon as he did that I got the fly right on top of him. And he surged once, missed, and then second time grabbed it. So the key to getting these guys, as soon as they hit the bait on the surface, you've got to get your fly right on top of them straight away and then they just hammer it. Yep, to your left. Hit and miss through here. There's one moving out to the right too. On the inside of that weed line. Here you go, hang on. One's chasing the other one off. Yep, there he is. Oh, where is he going? He's smashing it. He's on it. Chased it. Chased it. There's one right up, see one right up in that channel. This one chasing. There's another one down the bank further, but we'll just get all two of them. I think we just keep drifting at the same speed though. Yeah. Yep, there's one right on the bank here. Oh yeah, it's a big, it's a biggie. Here he goes. Oh. Yes. yes! Oh, that's brilliant. Nice fish. Wicked, man. He was going for it. Yeah. Nice work. He was just mooching up that edge. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, boy. Nice work, Mike. Oh, awesome. Thank you. That's a beauty. He was so keen for it though, eh? Like he went yeah, he for did. it two or three times. He like did, he eh? And then you, it. Give it, you give it another good strip and he's like, nah, I'm having that. We saw a lot of fish working up down the bottom. Managed to be able to get the raft and a nice drift down and just cruise along and we just got a nice slow drift. And um, was able to pick this fella up just cruising up the edge. Managed to get the cast out in front and he uh, saw the fly after the first strip and had a couple of swipes and it missed and it sort of Took a bit of patience not to just rip it too fast, but third hit, man, he snailed it. Beautiful fish. He's an, he's an older fish, he's been around, you can see a few nicks and scrapes and scars, but I guess he's still doing not too bad with the old protein and the smelt coming through. We'll let this guy go. Yep, one on the bank, coming back down just on the tip of that tussock. 
just right under that tussock. Oh, there. That's yep. it. He's, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's on it. He's on it. Oh. He followed that for ages. Yep, yep. now he comes. He's on it. Yep. Yep. Nice. Well done. Yes. Well done. Yeah, man. We're finally into it now. It's all go. Same tactic as before, eh? Spot him, cast the flyer, he's just into it. Oh, he's a beauty. That's awesome, eh? Another beautiful fish. A lot more yellow than the last one. Quite good condition, this one. A bit more fat to him. Yeah, that's a good line. I'm leaning forward in anticipation. There's one. Yep. Nice. Work, mate. He's coming off the weed. He's not not a huge fella. That was cool. You could see him chasing it. Into it. Yeah. The old Scott's getting a workout. Yeah, it's almost like they're not popping enough, but it's quite easy just to drift down quietly and just keep plugging away down there. It's good. Not spooking them. And then watching them surge after the fly, and then bang. Nice wee fish. Beautiful orange spots on this one. Fantastic. He's coming now. Yeah! <laughs> That's nice. It's a good fish, man. That was right on his head when it landed and just stripping away fast. Wicked. Now we're in the money, Mike. We're going to look good now. Because I was worried yesterday. We rejoin Anto and Mike on the southern estuary. The action has been non-stop. One of the great aspects of estuaries is that they are extremely rich environments and harbour a large biomass. For the trout, this means a lot of food, and for the angler, it means a lot of trout. When the conditions align, the fishing can get crazy good. Oh, there's gun. They're going hard in here now. There's at least four. Oh, he's trying to get it. Got him. Nice. So we just had a nice fish chasing hard at the smelt fly just then. It's a bit of a game of cat and mouse, but they sometimes lunge at it just as you strip. You're pulling your line six inches at a time, and if they go for it as you pull, they can sometimes miss. So we're going to wait. We'll come back around. We'll have another chance. <laughs> yeah, boy. Nice work, Mike. Oh, awesome. Thank you. After well and truly scratching the itch from the raft, it's time now to stretch the legs. So the decision is made to run the raft aground and beat the feet for the remainder of the afternoon. So Mike and I have just had a great session fishing from the raft this morning. The conditions of improving certainly help things. We've hooked heaps of fish, nice fish. We've just pulled the raft up. We've got about a K stretch of nice looking water to fish and we're gonna walk the bank all the way down to the mouth. So when you're out fly fishing, it's always good to take a range of flies. Every situation you encounter can be different on the day, but also the day itself. Some of these are weighted, and some of these aren't. This trip we've been using sort of four main smelt patterns. We've been using the traditional grey ghost. It's quite a light pattern. It's good for the shallow water when the fish are coming in nice and close. This is a fuzzle bugger. It's nice and grey, which represents the smelt really well. It's got a little bit of weight, which helps just push it down into the deeper water. 
This is the surf candy, which has been my favorite for the trip. It's actually a saltwater fly, but it's worked really well this trip. Just moved up onto the higher bank so I can see down into the water. It allows me to penetrate right through. I'm trying to spot the fish and tell Mike where to cast. Come up here, mate. You'll see it. On the, it's not moving, it's dead still. Left hand side, just in that corner there. Oh, yep, facing away. Yep. It's just starting to move. About five metres out from you, right yep, on the edge. Just, just, there. Turn, just turn around. See that swirl? That's where the swirl did is. He still, yeah, did he still go down? Yeah, no, he's, he's still there. towards you. Like yep. less than a foot. Got him. Oh. Nice. Do you mean to need him? Yeah, you grab him in the net there. He's ready. Yep. Nice work. Yeah. Nice condition. Look at that silver. Yeah, you can tell he's in the lower reaches here, that's for sure. Proper sea run trout. Yeah, those fish, you up the top end and where that weed is and stuff, are quite a lot darker. Yeah, they obviously live in the rivers a lot of the time. Yep. He was into that smelt pattern then though. Yeah. Wham! So I initially spotted this fish as he was coming up the edge, right in tight on the shore. He was obviously looking for smelt. And as soon as that fly landed beside him, he went straight in for it, missed it a couple of times, and grabbed it. Third time lucky. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't get to chase these trout too often, and we're after a trout for the table tonight, mainly because when they're feeding on the smelt in these estuarine areas, they're so much tastier than the river trout that we usually chase, and almost every single fish we catch, we put back. So this one's going to go on the table tonight. Should be tasty. Fish for tea. Smelt run in almost all rivers in the South Island, which adds up to a huge fishery. So whilst the day's catch is sizzling away on the barbie, the lads are already formulating their next trip chasing smelt feeders. Possibly an east coast river, or maybe even a remote west coast drainage that they've heard some whispers about. It's this kind of diversity of fishing options that makes New Zealand without a doubt one of the best trout fisheries in the world. When you're fishing in what is widely considered to be the best fly fishery in the world, you'd be mad to compromise on quality, which is why Pure Fly NZ has chosen to partner with these great companies. You can rely on their products to deliver the goods for you on your next adventure. <laughs>